couple of drinks. What you gonna do with all that junk? All that junk inside your trunk. I'ma get, 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 get you drunk. Get you love drunk, I'ma hump. Hey girl, what's up? It's your favorite girl, Twistin, aka Baby Girl Twist, back with it with another video. And yeah, already from the title, you know what we're gonna be talking about today. I hope you have your wine glasses, cause I have mine ready. From the title, it's gonna be a sweet and juicy conversation. So make sure you have your glass Pause this video, get yourself some snacks, food, call a friend, call a girlfriend, and come back. Yeah, it's the bust down in part for me. It's the hair for me. Don't don't talk to me crazy. Anyways, it's also the love and support for my BGT gang for me. Shout out to you guys. Make sure you guys are giving yourself a round of applause. We're so close to 20k. We love and support the BGT members. So make sure to keep telling a friend, telling a friend about your girl BGT today in order so we can grow the family. If this is your friend time stopping by my channel hey my name is Tosin I do chit chat videos I do lifestyle content I do also make entertaining videos and I also have a new series that's come out called I Your Big Age so make sure to hit this right here and check out the playlist of I Your Big Age so you guys are staying updated it is super fun and I think you're gonna enjoy it so I recently just turned 22 and I've been seeing this new trend so much on YouTube so I started to hop on this trend and also give a little one to one to how I feel about this conversation and I want to also share things that have helped me level up in my 20s and I feel like will help you so make sure to leave a comment down below what has also helped you in your 20s because I would love to get into the details girl make sure to hit that like button so that I know that I'm doing something right and without any further ado let's get straight into the video a quick disclaimer these are all opinion based meaning this is based on my experience and what has helped me so any other thing take it off of god life is crazy life is hard adulthood is ghetto one thing that's helped me level up has definitely been understanding how powerful your mindset is this is so important because your mindset to me anyways is literally your roadmap or your map to your journey of success and however success looks like to you being a late teen and suffering from things like anxiety and like depression and learning how like your mind literally can alter your realities and literally change who you are getting out of that space and truly understanding how powerful it is to set your mind straight how powerful your subconscious beliefs about yourself detect how you move and how your behaviors are towards the goals you want to achieve for yourself and how if you have subconscious beliefs that you're not good enough and you're not better enough or you don't deserve certain things like you literally act that thing out even though consciously you're trying to convince yourself you're not and learning to set new beliefs that definitely match the identity you like to hold so for me what I see myself as is a boss a hard-working woman resilient and you know she got her shit together my attributes and my behaviors have to show or align to that and everything else follows suit I think the next thing has to be healing like I always say heal 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 I promise you when you heal you feel so free from so many things there's so much on learning of toxic beliefs or like on learning of like some toxic traditions that limit and the earlier you start the better because honestly in your early 20s you are literally at that verge where you're transitioning to adulthood so there are not as many responsibilities as you may have than i probably would have in 10 years my life could change i'm probably thinking about like owning a house or like starting a family and all, like all these things learning to heal and really process my trauma and understand where certain things are coming from healing is continuous i'm still in my journey of like self-healing the more i'm getting this and great into myself the more i feel more free and liberated and i feel more alive like there's something so beautiful just evolving or transforming and renewing your your mindset renewing your beliefs and you can keep them and even renew them along the journey and you have better ways of coping with certain things so you're not acting out of trauma pains or like you're not acting out of hurt you're not pushing people away because of pains you've received from the past you are literally living a new life i don't want to just exist i really want to live and for me to live i really need to let go yeah in addition to this forgiving yourself in survival mode understanding that however you acted in the past while you were a child you were a child 
don't judge yourself don't criticize yourself don't don't blame yourself that was the best you could do at that time and so now you know better it's time to do better period okay so my other point would be picking up healthy habits that match the identity of someone that you want to be not just picking up healthy habits but also sticking to them by being disciplined the type of person that i envisioned myself in my 20s i wanted to be my most healthiest self like that's also something that is important to me the pain of discipline is always better than the pain of regrets if anything is my biggest fear in this life it has to be regretting anything i hate regretting anything and it's so important to have healthy habits when you are in your early 20s because they're going to follow you through so like for me gym was so important to me i'm making it more of like a lifestyle than necessarily oh i'm on the summer but days like even waking up early for me that is a struggle but i just recently started doing that and honestly i'm loving it because i feel like i have more time to just chill and relax at the same time i have time to do my work and i'm not rushing when whereas if i wake up at like 11 or 12 i like the day is almost gone and like i can't do much really not just limited to self-help books but reading on financing reading non-fictional books reading books that every that change your perspective on things that change your mindset learning is not just limited to education you need to learn things that can help you in your day-to-day -day. you add more value to the conversation because you know better that you're more open-minded on the topic of picking healthy habits you know i have to talk about boundaries yes we have to talk about boundaries and when i talk about boundaries i don't mean telling someone i'm cutting you off or like yeah i'm blocking you off, i'm ghosting you i say yeah so my boundaries no that is not boundaries the whole essence of boundaries in my opinion is to help you have healthier relationships not stop you from having relationships at all like, it's not a wall or a brick wall to make people jump over to get to you it's more of like a gate to allow people that are meant to enter have access when you give them access and for people that are not meant to have it to leave and as much as we like to talk about boundaries with other people i have to definitely say that as much as you set boundaries with other people make sure you are also respecting the boundaries that you have within yourself you have to have boundaries within yourself your boundaries to yourself is hey, keeping your promise to yourself if you say you're going to do certain things you need to do them how do you want people to respect the boundaries that you set for them if you can't respect the boundaries that you set for yourself think about it knowing your limits for example one of the boundaries that i had set for myself is prioritizing rest i needed to rest and i needed to have more of a balance in my life in order to be fully functioning i'm not gonna sit down here and tell you that every time i'm always like on pro resting sometimes i work myself out but i always make sure to get back to my routine for sure i couldn't go long hours with just working 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 and squeezing myself out and then i'm left like self-care last no i had to prioritize rest for myself and i get myself deadlines like at this certain time drop the laptop turn off the camera close your books and you need to rest and the resting for me could be just lying in my bed listening to soft lo-fi music or like worship or gospel music or it could be maybe reading a book or it could just be talking to a friend and just unwinding and maybe just taking out time for myself to just like vibe i had to teach myself to respect myself because i need to prioritize my rest so i can get myself together so i'm not rushing myself so that others can be satisfied another one i definitely started was definitely finances last year or the year before like i would just like blow money <laughs> money would just be leaving my account like book at, book at, book at. And you know, I'm gonna be at the end of the month like doing noodles in a car and it, it was ghetto. So what I did now is like 10% whatever I earn or any allowance I get, I usually put that in my savings and keep it. And also learning to like work on my budget. Like, how much expenses am I making for the year? By the way, I'm an accounting major, but I don't act any sort of way like an accountant. But anyways, having your expenses for the year and having your revenue set out and necessarily like profit made during that year, I'm definitely learning and being more financially literate as I'm setting out my budget and I'm not exceeding my budget. And honestly, I'm not going to lie to you. At first, it was very hard, but then I'm learning like more creative ways to even save more money. And learning on things I would like to invest in maybe a year or two and not rushing to just like invest because I want to invest. I really like to take my time to really learn 
what is going on in the market or that type of stuff because as much as we like to look like a baby girl the funds have to come in somewhere and so what better way than making sure that your funds expand and make you more profit so you can be living life taking as many risks as possible and not playing to save this is so important since you're in your early 20s you can make as many mistakes as you can now and literally get back up and change it at the end of your 20s so this is the time to take as much risk as possible and i would say not just take any type of risk but take more calculated risk because when you take more calculated risk you gain more experience you have more knowledge you're more open-minded i am you're more of a well-learned person because you're not just like stuck and play too safe where you start have avenue for having regret like oh i wish i tried this oh i wish i did that dropping the need to make the right decision to make the right move to make the right next step like dropping being a perfectionist honestly like dropping being a perfectionist if we're really going to be honest yeah perfectionist because you're insecure that's just the truth that's an insecurity that i've had before and it inhibits me from moving and it inhibits me from creating because i always want to create the best I was going to create the masterpiece, but like not everything you're going to make is going to be a masterpiece. Some things are going to be mediocre. The whole point is just to create and explore. And as you're doing that, you're going to learn along your journey than just like putting so much pressure on yourself to make it the best all the time. If we're really going to be honest, play safe and not trying anything at all is a real L of all because you're not doing anything out of fear. But honestly, one lesson I've learned is that your failure is not a reflection of your value. Let me say that again. Your failures or your quote unquote out your L's are not a reflection of your value. You literally can fall down today and you give back up. They don't define you what defines you is how you react towards those things the next thing i would say is to be bold and to be confident believe in your own source and i know confidence is such a hard thing to do if i were to be honest it's really not the easiest especially if you've grown up with a lot of insecurities and a lot of doubt and things have happened in your life that has made you feel like me damn maybe i'm not the best or maybe i'm not good enough but when i tell you that true self-confidence is just based on you trusting yourself keeping your promises to yourself there's something so sexy about being so confident in your source you just be naturally yourself you move different you act different you behave different even if you get an L you bounce back different and even if you're not that yet build it start building it up right now even if it's not going to show tomorrow it's going to show in a year which is better than not showing at all don't ever punk yourself out of any opportunities because you're feeling insecure baby you have the source trust me you may not see it right now but you have the source and once you really tap into your source, it's going to start showing up more. You start talking a little bit different. You start talking a little bit, you know, with some chest. Because, yeah, I'm a big deal. No matter how weird, no matter how awkward, no matter how uncool you may think you are, keep on showing up as who you are. Keep on allowing your most authentic self to really show through. I have felt the most free and liberated as a person when I kept on showing up as myself. Nobody has one side to themselves. There's so many sides. Like I can be super chill. I can be a noisemaker. I can be calm. I can be deep. Allow yourself to explore those different ranges. And don't let the fear of people rejecting you stop you from showing up as yourself. Because you're only denying yourself ability to be yourself. And that say lots of resentment and that least say lots of like passive aggressiveness because they're not really being yourself not everyone is going to like you just like you're not going to like everybody as well because really truly do you really like everybody exactly so you need to be able to present yourself and even if people reject you for being who you are that's okay as long as you don't reject your own self that's where the problem is okay let's go into the dating aspect of like how to level up your dating life man 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 yeah i'm not going to lie our generation day pool is uh, scary it's a bit um ghetto but let's talk about it when you are single enjoy being single enjoy being alone being alone doesn't necessarily mean you're lonely don't run away from yourself actually sit down and have conversations with yourself 
date yourself sometimes i just sit down and talk to myself and be like okay what are the things that you feel you need to work on as a person what are some habits that you want what are your goals that you want for yourself when you first get out of a relationship like you have a lot of time to date like you have okay what well, i'm 22 now like 23 24, 24, 24, 24. i have like about eight years even if Nothing happens at 30. After 30, it's still there. I have a lot of time to date. There's always time you're dating, talking to somebody, doing breakup, heartbreak, all this. There's so many, there's so much. But where's the time for just your solitude and you discovering yourself? Like, and that's why for me, it's so important that in your early 20s, when you find yourself, when you do find yourself single, enjoy being single, enjoy being on your own. Because I feel like we take that for granted and most of us grow up and we don't really know who we are when you are dating be present when you're talking to someone talk to the person don't be a girlfriend when you are a girlfriend be a girlfriend don't be a wife it's so important that we take each stage of the dating process as it is that stage and really be present and see things for what it is not dating potential not dating what he could be and just seeing it as it is and i feel there's less headache and heartbreak when you really just take things for what they are not attaching yourself too soon making sure that you don't slack on your work and make this person a priority that somebody that could be temporary you can just start talking to you for two weeks and then next two weeks you guys don't even know each other like that's how like ruthless the talking stage could be sometimes so it's very important that you don't let somebody new kind of disrupt what you already have going on and you are committed appropriate times to engage in getting to know someone that doesn't necessarily get in the way of what you've already were doing before you met said person and before i forget because i know this is another one when we are saying we're busting up in our 20s we're leveling up in our 20s it also means not ignoring red flags like a red flag is not orange it's not yellow it's red because you're going to cry later it's painful y'all i promise i'm not crying people will show you who they are the first time believe them and also you need to understand that people will treat you anyhow as long as you let them treat you anyhow if you don't set your standards and you let anybody just like come in and disrupt you literally it's on you it's no longer on the person it's literally on you because you saw it and you chose to ignore it and there's nothing worse than seeing a warning sign that's still dumping into danger just because he looks like you're tired of talking to you and you're on this table i need you to leave that man alone it's not worth the heartache and cry there are so many other guys out there that will take time that will care for you and that will love on you right trust me there are actually guys out there that are really good respect yourself enough to walk away when people are no longer treating you how you deserve to be treated oh another thing is we all love an emotionally intelligent man that is in tune with his feelings and knows how to process his emotions but one thing is we're leveling up your 20s you also have to be emotionally intelligent as well yeah i'm not just shooting at you i'm shooting at myself because that's something i'm working on as well I ain't gonna count. Emotional intelligence is not just about like knowing your emotions. It's actually about how you process your emotions. How you process whenever you are being triggered. Because honestly in this life, a lot of things are going to trigger you. If we're going to be honest. And it's very important that you are able to process your behaviors whenever you are being triggered. So you don't act out in a way that you are not the one having to do the apologizing. Because if there's anything worse, it's when you're not the one that's at fault, but you have to apologize because of the way you reacted. I honestly hate that. Learning to really like hold space and also letting go of emotions that you picked up along the day. I feel like I identify as an empath. Like, and I've noticed like I would be happier stuff and i'll talk to a friend and then all of a sudden i'm like down just because of them being down as well i'll like kind of like almost take down those emotions making sure that at the end of the day you are actually like letting go of other people emotions that you've taken on through the day and letting it out of your system the way you handle your emotions really helps you 
go far in this life honestly the way you handle when people are trying to trigger you and i'm not saying control your emotions like don't feel anything or don't allow yourself to feel definitely feel i'm more so talking about the behaviors you exhibit when you are triggered learning not to take a lot of things personal because i'm not the main character in anybody else's story but my story our ego loves to tell us that oh this is personal this is about me but if you really look at the situation and the whole thing as an entirety is really not about you but open your mind to the perspective of the other person and see where the other person could be coming from and learning that like really it's really not about you the last thing that i would say definitely helped me level up my 20s has to be upgrading my style honestly covid came and my transitional years from like i think 2019 20, 20 you're just starting being 20 and i literally did not go out didn't have any clues so i literally had to 2021 20, like throw a lot of stuff out and like try to rebuild my closet i'm still in my baby phase of finding my style finding what works on my body shape like letting about like having like um statement pieces and like um building up outfits from like basic pieces and i'm really enjoying it. like when you really like take your style like seriously it helps elevate your confidence like because when you look good you feel good for sure let nobody tell you different when you feel good you act different you don't need to make a break about to look good you just need to know how to pair things up to make it look nice and even learning how to do basic things so you look decent at all oh and sometimes less is more really nice to have like basic pieces so you can layer them up and just little things like that just making sure that i'm taking care of myself outside and also in within well that's the wrap guys hope you guys had a glass of wine as you were listening to what i have to say make sure to like this video because that lets me know that i'm doing something right and make sure to comment down below what things helped you level up in your 20s i would love to know and i would love to engage with you guys in the comment section make sure to keep on telling our friend about bdt today we are so close to 20k so make sure you are hitting that like button and that subscribe button to make that happen because I don't think you guys want to miss what I have coming in store for the month of November and especially the month of December. So make sure you're staying updated on my channel. And if you're new here and you love this video, might as well just join the BGT gang, subscribe, and be part of the family. And let me know by commenting down below, you BGT member alert. I've had a long ass day. Um, I need to park my G Wag at the back. I just left it on the road carelessly and uh, Tesla is giving me so much stress and I just want to drive in my big truck so yeah yeah Cheers to us BGT gang members and I hope you guys have a lovely evening I'm gonna be signing out by saying go crazy go stupid go stupid go crazy and I'll see you guys back in some new BGT content I know you want me Every day not only when you're lonely yeah. You see you think you know me But you don't even know nothing about me yeah.